Once again, it's on. We back. It was all a dream podcast. They call me Dutchy. They call me DJ Blackout. We already know what it is. What we talking about, C's? Hey, C's, what the fuck is we talking about this motherfucking episode, my nigga? First time. You inspired me last episode. You already know. You fucked it up last episode. Yeah. But, um, First of all, I want to talk about this whole Cam Newton fight. Crazy. I don't I know if y'all saw it. Crazy. It's a couple of different angles. But Crazy. At the end of the day, why would these regular ass niggas want to try to fight a six foot six, two hundred and seventy five pound Special. athlete? Special. That like, lineman could <laughs> fuck with. <laughs> you can't get three hundred pound men to tackle this man. You think you're just gonna roll up, try stroll on him? Right. Bro, the that way was he was grabbing the ball by the hoodie. <laughs> they were like puppets. Right? He, he had one ball, ball by the hoodie on one of the headlock. I said, yo, why didn't they even <laughs> plan with him like that? So, um, what I heard was yeah. it was a football, like, yeah, little he, he camp has a seven, that he had. Yeah, seven on seven tournament that he yeah. won the year. Yeah, but what, why would they play with him like that? Like, I mean, and my whole thing is they, they sports is. Trash talking. Everybody right, talk trash. Right, right, we game. talk trash playing curveball in the hood. Right. So you, just anything competitive, right. you're gonna be talking trash. Right. So of course he probably was talking his money shit, mm-hmm. talking about like you know this is his camp. So right. like I made y'all niggas. Just you took that personal. But that that is a little crazy though. I made y'all niggas. Like, I mean even still, I, like, I mean that's what the that's what the reports know. say. But it's like bro, not enough to take off on the six seven. No, <laughs> what you, but listen, this you see what it got him. Yeah. They got him some, some headlock and ass whooping. Yeah, man. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. salute to Cam Newton, man. Yeah. Like, and then uh, they do so what you let, got to do. Yeah, I ain't mad at Cam. Don't let this this. Uh, I ain't mad at them for not taking the disrespect either. I mean, right. yeah, I, I respect just that. that. My smart. thing is, if, you, if, 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 if a rich nigga talking that and you already fucked up, busting and disgusting, you ain't got no bread. Right. And nigga talking about, yeah, I made y'all niggas and talking money shit. That you gonna feel some type of way. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm but, I'm but at the end of the day, if you wanna be made, you gotta get made. Real shit. Bottom line, you know what I mean? Like, I I don't like when niggas go ahead and put the cart before the horse at the end of that. You feel what I'm saying? You can't run up on the boss and tell the boss, shut the fuck up. Right. It's just not going to happen. You see what happened, you're going to get in the head like a hoodie grab. Head like a hoodie grab. They said it was stunning. It was boiling before the fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's when everything came to a head. Yeah, yeah. No, it came to their head. Because that's what you had to think of that. Grab out of the head, grab out of the hood. I just had to catch myself about the about to say it came to a head and that's what got him at the ass whipping, but it came out. <laughs> like I can't imagine like last week slid and like yo, if he try that shit again next week, I'm I'm tipping on that nigga. And next week coming you get tipped on. That's crazy. You know that's how the shit goes. That's exactly how you know that's how the shit goes. He's not even a regular six foot six nigga. No, he's right. a an and athlete. Still, and still and I'm, athlete. Pretty, I'm pretty, pretty sure he works still out work out still in shape. Bro, yeah, when I seen him right? playing with them people, I said, yo, these niggas is babies. He grabbed. He had the one nigga in the head. He hit the one ball like this. He yeah, just. Yeah, he that's why everybody thought it was kids. I'm like, like, bro. It wasn't kids. It was grown men. It wasn't his size. They don't understand. Oh, and then he, his hat never came yeah, off. And the nigga hat off. don't come off. You know, they don't fuck with him. His wardrobe ain't messed up. Just leave that shit alone. That was some cool shit. Your hat don't come off though. And again, he probably knew. I can't steal one of these balls because if they get knocked out or something, I can sue you. So all he did was. Ragged yeah, all the yeah, shit out of them. Like, well, well, they played it smart. But they said he decided to press charges. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's They that's know why, because they ran up on him. <laughs> the video, see, this is the problem nowadays. Video catch everything, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah. So you can go ahead and try to And it was four y'all. It was just him. No yeah. security or nothing. They right. broke it up. His man he, did run in and throw he, a nice right hook. He was there by himself for the most part until his man ran right up and threw yeah. a nice right yeah. hook. Yeah, so it's like, bro, like y'all gotta chill. Like that shit crazy. I'll leave that shit alone. But what do you think? That should stop like athletes and shit from doing shit for the hood. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no he should keep right. doing that. But again, at the end of the day, he came new, and so like, again, sports is competitive. Right. He going pop and shit, even yeah. about money. Isn't yeah. it? You yeah. think oh, about shit. you think about niggas in the NFL. They all got money, but right. you, I'm pretty sure if you come up to Tyreek Hill, you're like, just be right. that broke ass right. out there. Right. 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 We gonna take it out of the journalist situation. Help as many kids as you can fucking help. Right. right. Help as many niggas as you can help. Right. Nigga disrespect you, Cam Newton niggas. That's what the news saying. They get a Cam Newton and they keep on fucking around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Kids play with me and I'm trying to help you. You're getting the Cam Newton. I seen this drunk. 
I seen this joint, uh, Stephen A was talking, and he was saying, like, yeah, I see Eli, Eli and Peyton Manning, they, they have these type of events with these kids. I saw that. They probably got niggas it. there. I can guarantee you they ain't got Bro, niggas there. But listen, first. almost. Let, let me tell you niggas this. Niggas do. Let me keep it real. Fuck niggas Stephen niggas A. Smith and his nut ass here. Pull off of Stephen A. Smith. He's a fucking asshole. Pull off of Stephen A. Smith. Cool. 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 But my whole thing is, they don't be reporting on them them, them white boys down in Texas. They probably that be shooting. They dad be shooting the referees at the game. Right. Be mad. They don't never say nothing about it. I've seen them with any referees ass. And the stand rumble. Bro, we don't do that. Stephen A. Smith's you know, hairline is all the way the fuck back here. I don't believe no nigga no that just don't want to get a ball. Dude. No get the ball. Points. Points nowhere. Get the ball. Dude. Like shit, he don't even believe in himself. He get a line all the way around. Give me the ball. He's sitting there lying. Boy, lying, man. Ain't nobody. Listen, one thing about it that we ain't gonna do over here. At it was all a dream podcast. We ain't doing no cap, but we do what we do. Yeah, just don't, don't follow like us. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't just like don't follow us. Don't try to compare his shit. To their it's white shit. man shit, yeah, right? They, right. They, they, they shit is totally you feel me, bro? That just don't follow us. We go, that this, this is what I'm tired of. Good. I'm tired of niggas that be sitting around faking and acting like they better than everybody right, else, right, bro. Right, yeah, yeah, you be hey, truthful bro. to your fucking that's self. Even you hear me? Be truthful to yourself. I'm tired, bro. At the end of the day, we've been doing this podcast for a whole year, right? Some niggas watch this shit and be uh, hating. Some niggas watch this shit and love it. So we gonna follow the niggas that love it, and the Bottom niggas line. that love it, we gonna keep motivating them to keep doing what the fuck we doing, keeping it the right. fuck real. Stephen A. be on some nut shit. He's a fuck. He ain't qualified if you talking about athletes, man. That nigga averaged zero point one, <laughs> and that high school man. And average no hairline. <laughs> and but <laughs> his hairline too. Zero point one. Ugly ass old. That nigga had big shit. He was bullying them all with that same head. Nigga, please. Yeah, that shit crazy. Yeah, we, we ain't doing that. Like Dutch right. said, yeah, we, if y'all out here and y'all at some kind of event, activity, tournament, and you, it's some yeah, some it's some like real we, right. athletes out there. Respect the athletes. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> might not have a uh, you know that Cam Newton. Uh, the capacity sense. to be nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Knock your ass. Up. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, man, you just start throwing punches, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been five real niggas bad. knocked the it fuck out out there. Right. He spared been, y'all niggas. It would have been so fast. It would have been so fast. Yeah, it would have been over quick. It would have been 10 seconds. Boom, boom, boom. When it started. Yep. I mean, again, shout out to Cam, but y'all got to chill. And the hat. Shout Definitely shout out to the hat. Hey. To our content coordinator, Siege, where are we going at next, brother? So this next one, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, this story kind of pulled me off guard. I ain't even, I never, I don't know if it's real or not. kind of heard some things about it, but. They respect the realness out of it. Shout out to Cam and Mace, because uh, it is what it is, it's fire. I that's my shit, man. Yeah. Cam and Mace. Salute to my old label, man. Oh, so. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to say. Salute to my old label, man, Cameron um, Giles. Right. Their co-host, uh, the girl stat baby, shout out to her too. She asked a question Rocket. to Cam and Mace because it came up that they allegedly mm-hmm. bought shares of Rockefeller off Dame Day. Allegedly. allegedly. You're going to say allegedly. And, so, and Cam was laughing and, and Mace, and Mace was laughing. The, the bird man. Yeah, the yeah, way, yeah. The way they was acting. It, I, I allegedly they sure. bought this and shit. And so my question is, do you think they bought... Do you think they bought the shares of Rockefeller as a business move? Right. Or did they do it, buy it to say, fuck out of here, Dame Dash? No, I no, think. Dame is his that's, man. I know, I'm just, that's, I'm just that's saying. Cam, best, that's the one that can't so, best friend. Okay. This is what I'm going to tell you. What the point in that is, is that blackballing don't exist no more. Mm-hmm. Hating is strikes curiosity. And money is money. Them niggas sitting on a crazy bag right now. They're going to be doing a whole lot of shit. I know Cam personally. Cam is a motherfucking monster when it comes to fucking with you. But I think, you know what I think it was? They played with him too Do you long. Think it's a- they don't want... Yeah. The thing is, they didn't want any random just to buy. Just like when Jay-Z stepped in and tried. Because, <clears throat> you know, Jay-Z and Kareem Big tried to block the sell. Yeah. Because I think every shareholder got to agree to yeah. and sell it. No, so, but you got to look at it like this, they, right? Damn. Dang, bro. Why not look out for the OG? That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting to. I asked the question wrong. But now I want you to finish your point. Right. I meant to say, do you think 
that it was a good business move, or was they saying a fuck you to Jay Z? That's what I'm right, saying. Right, right. I, I, I think it was kind of a fuck you to Jay Z like as far as Cam. Yeah, that, that's because you know, you know, right. like, that beef been going on for years. Right. So, I think they also trying to look out for Dame. I think eventually Dame gonna get it back. They, I think they get gonna give him the option to buy it back. They probably already did. No, they own it together. No, 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 Dame. Uh, let, no. Dame had to sell it. They said because Dame had to sell, sell his shares, right, yeah. right, 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 to your friends, right. That's the move. Yeah, it's coming back. It's coming back. Right. It ain't never leaves. It's coming back. That's it ain't never leaves. Right. 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 Equity and equity creates more equity, right. right. So what I think happened was they spread it, the money around. You gotta understand, niggas are smart, bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas, are, they, you gotta remember, they come from the mecca of this shit. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. All right. Don't think Dame ain't sitting around orchestrating. And one, one, I don't even want to get into it too much because at the end of the day, that's them people business. But my thing is, great move. You feel what I'm saying? Dope move. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's niggas playing chess or checkers. That's what I'm saying. Could you, could you imagine somebody buying that like, like the boy did with the Wu Tang album? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Try to hold that shit. I mean, like they ain't want that to happen, man. So that was, that was love, man. Shout out, shout out to them, them brothers, man. That was, that was dope, man. Shout out to It Is What It Is podcast, yeah, man. Right. Cam, we need an interview over here, bro. Come fuck with me. What you, what, what you hey, think? Hey, Amar, what's your take on that? Um, Amar, what the fuck you got going on? Bro? I think. To <laughs> what the fuck is you doing, bro? Uh, I, um, I feel like. What the fuck you got going on? What the fuck was that? I think that was a smart move. I think they kept the money in the crib because they should. From, I mean. That's Cam. I look that's this Cam way man. and I look back over you and some guys. No, because I couldn't get under. I couldn't get underneath my hoodie on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a smart move. It was. It was. Smart move. No, it was a very. It was I think very, it was more of a. I think it was more of a smart move than a fuck you. It was a very these strategic niggas, move. These niggas is closing in on a half a man. Right. They, they everybody got money. They right. getting older. Niggas got kids. Ain't no reason for me to have no bright food. Right, and, I, and I feel like I don't Cam know. Cam is an Any competitive, bro. so to me, yeah. like, Cam Cam the nigga that created the pause game. How the fuck are you? I mean, right, like, right. he created from, the pause from, game. From out of their respect, no blood has been spilled. Right. So let's. This what we really tripping for. For real, for right, and we right. both got chicken. He up a fucking B. They killing it. What what, what what we tripping for? But like he said though, it's and a, I think it's Dan a, got the ticket to cover that tag. He probably he probably knew, money, but I. But I don't think he. I don't think he had it liquid. Yeah, yeah probably so had it liquid. Liquid. because they they, they, liquid. they said in September 2022 he had a judgment that he had to um, pay off, and right, so right. that's why he's had to start selling that stuff. Right. Well, right. let's look into it deeper. Yeah, let's right. look into it right. deeper. What if this shit is all off a side and everybody's on the phone just could be. Them? It could, could be. be. I mean, it could be. no. I'm just saying. Be. Let's just look at it from the aspect yeah. of it could be whatever. No, that's what I'm saying. Like he could have, he could have sold it. Could have told Cam and go bust that move. Well, not necessarily. Mm-hmm. The judge is ordering him to sell it. He needed. He had oh, the prop. Oh, so why not sell it to people you don't know? It, no, but they don't. I mean, what? before. No, no, no. Before no somebody, so I'm saying again. It. Why not sell it to people you don't know? You sell it to people you know. Because you don't want to rant to get away. I'm gonna say it again. Right. Why not sell it to people you don't know if the judge ordered you to liquidate it? He's so, he's doing. Oh, this no, 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 that's what I'm saying. They still gotta pay money out, right? I'm it out. My man. And then in a couple years, y'all, y'all just retreat. But once again, right. It ain't, <clears throat> it ain't our business. At the end of the day, salute the It Is What It Is podcast and salute the Dame Dash and salute to the strategic business move that they made. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like, and like Cam said, it's the ultimate chess move, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm imagine you beefing. Not. Imagine you beefing with a nigga for years and all of a sudden you own That's you own that's that's the shit that he's heard, yeah. Right. Like, that's crazy. Michael man. Jackson did the Eminem. Yeah, Mike did it. Mike did it. Uh, Every time too, yeah. you perform your song where you throwing dirt on my mm-hmm. name. He did it to Tommy Matola too. Right. Right. Every yeah. time he's like, you know, he is, song, he like this is what the game is about. Bro. That's genius, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? So back to our content coordinator. You know what I'm saying? Where we going at next, Siege? For our, our next topic, I, I was thinking about these last two topics, like which one I wanted to do last, but we got to get the, the juicier one I'll do last. So for our next topic, yesterday was the 20. Fourth or fifth, because I'm still trying to confirm. What 24. It is. I think it's 24. 24. They keep saying it's No, 24. I know exactly it's 24. Well, it's the 24th anniversary of Beanie Siegel's debut album, mm-hmm. The Truth. 
I don't know about yes. y'all. Classic. Classic. But for me, that album, album it, it changed my life. Bro, I was with him two months before he dropped it. I was with him when he did the song Die. That's my favorite song. Though. Right before we went and did Dead Man Walking. Mm -hmm. We left his session over at Quad. And we went right over and did Dead Man Walking. It was 24 years ago. And, and on top of that, on top of that, what? Bless. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah I was just saying, you know, you went all the way in, considering you took it, why you going to hit it? Yeah, it was just a little kick. Oh, yeah, that's 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 a little kick. I'm there from Goodfellow. Yeah. I don't even want to look at my money. Put him in the money. I'm sitting up here at the first time. It went over my fucking head. He said, Put him in the back. 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 Put him back. Put him in the 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 back. Put and, and to Philly, man. Yeah, yeah, Philly. yeah, but to y'all, period. Yeah, gotcha. But to Mac, y'all whole like, graduating class. Yeah, but Mac, like Mac, set a precedence with that album, and the reason why was because you gotta remember the obstacles that this guy was facing at the time. You a guy from Philadelphia for one, for two, you gotta go in under a uh, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? And and who was and, smoking and, hot. Yeah, who was smoking Fire. hot at the time, and he held his own and I like brought him back home. For Jerome, like we say, you know, in Philly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, he solidified us, man, as, as the home of the spitters, man, with, with that, yeah. that album. Like, right. like, again, being being next door and just seeing the, yeah, yeah. the people that I saw right. as yeah. a teenager, I'm like, you know, there's no camera phones or nothing. And just seeing, like, ciphers created out of nothing. Right, where right. Niggas is just standing outside, smoking, talking, and then boom, somebody pull up in the car. Beat start. That's why I, I, I want to give no shots at, to the to the youth and the music that they make. But to see people sitting around smoking, just talking like we are, a car ride by playing a beat, and then I never forget one story. I had a a, a Yukon Denali. I pull up, and I forget what song was playing. He comes out his mom's house. He says, "CJ, who that?" I'm like, "It's a mixtape." Right. He said, "Turn it up, turn it up, open the door." He's like, just keep keep rewinding that part. Now mind just a CD. So I'm like going back. He's rapping. He's just trying to catch the beat, and he just start rapping off. Out of nowhere, I'm like, oh, crazy. shit, Yo. what the fuck? Yo. Did, did that become a song? Yo. I don't know. I don't know. Like I just, I, I, I don't can't remember the lyrics. Just right. catch a just catch a beat, and I'm right like, you know what? Like he said, the yeah, Mac yeah. don't write it. Bro, listen, say, no, 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 listen, bro. I didn't see him right. Listen, bro. We, listen. All right, just just did man walking itself, right? Um, me and Spade, we ran out of syrup in New York. Mac never ran out. Like like one thing about one thing about the Big Mac, well, he don't run out. You feel what I'm saying? So what I hit him. The Big Mac. Yeah, the Big Mac. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> big Mac. I was going like Rory. Right. Big, big Mac crazy. ain't crazy. That's at that time he was big and he was Mac. Wow. Yeah, I got you. So so so. Listen, listen. He tried to hoop you. He tried to. He goes to the backboard. You tried it. Nice try, wrong guy. He called so, the Big Mac. The Big Mac. Uh, well, it probably was crazy. Yeah, so it was crazy. Uh, I was going to right out. Okay, well, back to the situation. Yeah, at my hand, right? and all that. We call Mac. Mac, like, yeah, I'm over here doing what I'm doing. All right, come listen to a couple joints from the album. When we get there, he played Die for us. Um, when he played that record, I knew that record was going to be a classic record because when he played it, I never heard a motherfucker talk about dying in that many ways. For yeah. one, for two, this shit is like just just one of them situations where it's more so like esoteric to to be sitting in there in a studio where everybody's there, bro. Old is walking through. Everybody's there. And then me and Spade come in and you know, we was like You said it's at quiet or baseline? Yeah. Baseline. 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 Baseline studio. Right. Mate, sorry for the uh, misconception. You know what I'm saying? Um, baseline studios, actually. And we caught a cab over there. 
you know what I'm saying? Right. Before the cab over there and met Mac. Mac took us in the studio and then we was like, Mac, we got a session over here. You know what I'm saying? Come over. And we went over to our studio that we was at and Digger was sitting in there. Salute the Digger. Um, and Digger put the beat on. And in my mind, I'm just like, damn, like, what are we going to do at the hearing? Die. Right. I said, damn, I said, damn. Let me... So me, everybody, when it's hook time, they look over at me like I'm just supposed to hook out the hair. Right, right. But it came out the hair. man walking. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it became what right, now is classic. known as a fucking classic. That's my shit. I didn't know Funkmaster Flex was going to take the record and put it on his album with Big Cap. Salute to Funkmaster Flex. Um, but it became a, a record that was like a, a, a well-known record. But to touch on Mac coming in there and just going And then go in the booth and I stay strapped. I keep a half a hundred to cap. I put your stomach in your lap. You don't want none of the Mac. The gun to come out. If I think you're running your like, I'm like, I'm looking like, what the fuck am I going to do? Just speed. You know what I mean? Go in his, his act. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And all, I, all I got is the hook at this time. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, so it's like, man, like that album, man, the truth. It's crazy, you know bro. We, it's the truth. We got Kanye you, first first placement. You know how we, we, we break the, down that was, that was a, we break down albums here. So we you know how we did two pops. Oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. So let's, let's just go through the, the, do the, the, the track list. So number one is the truth, of course. That was like the the, the mainstream record, the first right, one. Right. That was mainstream. That's my I mean, I love this whole album. So Who Want What? When uh But it's crazy. The truth was was like the mainstream, a mainstream album, but it really wasn't. No, that shit was that was that was a mainstream. Yeah, that was some mainstream. It about. wasn't it wasn't uh, mainstream as far as like pop or crossover. Right. 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 As far when as you got, sound, yeah. when you got right. that jam behind it, it is. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem they do to Philly. You feel what I'm saying? The problem they do to Philly. That's what they do. They try to cast us out. You feel what I'm saying? Like they try to cast us out, which is leading into that juicy ass motherfucking situation that we got coming up next you feel what i'm saying like like see let's get right into it because this is what the people want to hear you feel what i'm saying like we're going to talk about it let's talk about it bro oh, we're going we to get there <laughs> no because i want to talk about it like this right here is going to be it ain't going to be a closing but it's going to be a grand closing because it, we can't just touch on this shit for three minutes right right we, we got some time we got well, some all i'm time. saying is usually a hard album like a hard song like that that sounds super street. Yeah, there was no, never no bubble gum in this album. There's right. no bubble gum. All this shit. One, one of the few albums that you could think back to, I think probably DMX at this time is another one that was, they ain't had no right. bubble gum songs yeah. in the album. Right. So it's like right. real like street hard songs right. Right. that everybody's like. I know women that like this album. Like that whole album. That's gonna be packed. Like, yeah, like this. Not gonna be packed. This is this is uh, again an album. Uh, Scarface. I'm only 15 when it's come out. Right. Back I ain't Brad. really know Scarface Back like that. Brad. We still waiting for that album. <laughs> so when I hear people still like Scarface, I'm like, damn. And again, other than Scarface, other than Bleak, Hove, of course. Right. And um. And uh, Eve on there, right? Eve. That Ron was, was on there, right? Yeah. Other than that, that was that's it. That was my shit. shit. But think about this. That was my shit. Eve is on fire at this time. Mm -hmm. Hove is on fire, mm -hmm. and uh, Scarface. Right. So your first album. On your first. It's crazy. Yeah. First it's album. Crazy. That's what you got on there. That's different. That's and di oh no, don't hop. He's known for not hopping on all of the you know his artist mm -hmm. album. Mm -hmm. That's your yeah, first album. He right, had bro. to. You know what I'm saying? He, he had, had to. He had to stamp that. He had to, bro. Salute to Mac. Like, he, he, again, for me, he was the first person I saw as a celebrity. It's my first celebrity. Right, I, that think I, that I, I felt like, damn, bro, I done come rolled, from where I come from. I done rolled right. yeah, yeah, in the Benzes with him. I done rolled in the Bentleys with him. I remember a time me and Mac was in the car listening to Money Ain't a Thing, riding in his Benz when he first got the Benz, right? I remember. And... When he, when when he we came, riding up the boulevard, throwing money out the car. I threw at least five thousand dollars out the fucking top of the window. The money ain't the thing. Bullshit. We get to the hotel with the bitches we had in the back seat, and we ain't even had no money to, to get the fucking hotel room because we threw it on the boulevard. Facts. 
So we had to ride back down South Philly to go meet Duba and the rest of them and go get some motherfucking paper. R.I.P. my nigga Duba. R.I.P. Duba, man. I think, what's, uh, I think Pac-Man from like a... a Him? We think so. That's so. crazy, man, because of course, every, the truth sounds different to me now at this age, mm -hmm. but that's 24, I'm what? I'm like 9, 10, I'm 9 when the truth come out. Mm -hmm. That shit was so Because that's after y'all, because I'm, I don't know y'all, but I know y'all as, I've seen major figures, mm -hmm. it's major figures as a whole. And he, and he from the P. Mm -hmm. So it's like, damn, cuz, like to be on 21st Street and see Max Man Pass. We like, seeing this nigga on a regular day. I'm like, day to day I'm like basis, oh, I can man. do this shit, bro. This shit is fine. Yo, this shit is fine. Like, again, it's crazy, bro. My nephew was 18. I remember him taking his niece and my nephew, they was kids, maybe three or four, mm -hmm. in the Maserati to a block party. Mm -hmm. I remember. Him, when uh, Kanye gave him the, the Lambo, parked in front of my mom's house, he let my mom get in it and take a picture and start it up. Like, you think Cat Williams, Cat Williams was getting a Lambo? I mean, yeah, yeah, Cat Williams was getting Like, these is, I, I remember oh, him leaving the, the Maserati roof open and start raining. So listen, I'm like, Yo, yeah, that's like, I remember that's Paco, right? Yeah. I remember yeah. Paco. So when Matt got the Maserati, my, Matt came to Paco because he didn't know how to shift on the fly. Paco was opening that shit up on motherfucking Pash Young Avenue. He was shipping on the fly. We on Pash Young Avenue. We damn near died in that joint, man. I remember hearing. I got some. I remember stuff. hearing. Uh, I remember probably eight shit. months before it came out. I'm from Murder, Murder, Monsieur My nigga, first. Yo, I South heard the whole Philly thing when that came out. And I remember when that came out. I remember Newsy coming up like, "Yo, I'm telling you, this shit can fire." Yeah, that shit. And we crazy. sitting and we waiting. We like, we didn't even hear the song because it's not like we could go on this phone and pull it up and then boom. Like eight months later, another like, thing. We still had, to this day, still. I think we had warriors. Oh, you probably know Robbo, his man Horse, white skin Horse. Mm -hmm. Horse man had uh, Horse man came around, big ass that's P chain. That's my one about heavy as shit. But I remember Horse playing once again. It's on months mm -hmm. before once again this song came out. I'm like, bro, it was listening a, to it. Like, this, bro, Mac, it was a time, shit, man. Bro. It was yeah. a time that we had in Philly. That, that was special. Everybody had some paper. Everybody had something going on. I remember it was a guy from South Philly named Fat Cat. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and Fat Cat, we would roll out Fat with Fat Cat, Cat sometimes and, you know, go just drink syrup and Freak do what Nitty. we was doing. You know, one thing about me, man, rest in peace, Freak Nitty, man. We, I, Freak Nitty, I was at Freak Nitty crib. We freestyling all night. I fall into the China cabinet, right? <laughs> He said, "Get, get, 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 get. You don't fuck it up, man. Oh my God. We laughing like a motherfucker. I done fuck Rick Diddy by a motherfucker. Uh, whole China cab with the fuck up. I fell into the joint. I'm not shot running. Yeah, man, my shit was running. Man, that was like again for me that era. It's like the mixtape was the mixtape to me was like when you go to the when you go to the court." And you, I gotta prove myself. Mm -hmm. You go to a court and it's like I don't really know all these dudes here. Mm -hmm. I'm about the ball. I'm about the ball the fuck out because I know that that's what the mixtape was to right. me. Like you, whoever put the mixtape together, they knew like all right, I'm putting these songs on here because mm -hmm. I want to show y'all all these mm -hmm. motherfuckers. They they hot. They can spit. And y'all tell me who who the best is. That was that era. Right. Right. Matt, right. Matt was these niggas a lot. A lot of the time, bro. Oh, but that ain't crazy though, right? Oh, that was crazy. Shit. That ain't crazy, yeah. right? I, I said Matt was these niggas. I wouldn't eat niggas. <laughs> You called that man Big Mac. That was crazy. That was crazy. Big Mac was good, but Mac was eating niggas up high. That's that crazy. He that. Oh, Big Mac that. worse. That's but, crazy. So you gonna tell a nigga in third person he was eating a nigga a lot? Well, <laughs> did you see it? That's a good. These <laughs> niggas a Big Mac? Oh, nah, I mean, nah, you know Benny Mac. I can't wait to the show. The joint with Bleach. You got to find That was that. Yeah, who the yeah. fuck want what? Yeah. Now, all right. Like, what album is that on? That's Bleak Out. No. Oh, I heard the yeah, you know, I got you, nigga. That's on both of the albums. So y'all just have a driving out there. My fault, because I just, because yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I forgot it was. That was the shit on there, too. His ticket was being hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the game, oh no, the game's still going. I, 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 no, listen, y'all. If y'all want some song. good picks on yeah. tickets, go to my man My My going pick My Picks up on on the motherfucking shorts. We doing My Picks. Mm -hmm. If y'all trust me, 
bet against him. Y'all right. going to hit that in my At the end of the day. My game, AKA coffee cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, in the hip hop. Oh, but like, but when I hear, not to cut you off, when I hear people talk about all oh, y'all outside of the city, they give y'all like, that time when they mentioned like y'all window to like cast to, to by the time cast came when they mentioned major figures even being well they kicked oh, it off yeah that's you the know, all you know why because, because this is what the fuck we had to do to get our city pop right and think about it if you think about besides it with, with, besides down, with McNabb too but really besides y'all and AI but they think about it. Y'all was with us, though. Right. I got to give Chuck his credit. Chuck nigga. was with us. Right. He a nigga. We lived in the same apartment building, bro. So think about it. Dark At that time, right. prior to 90, we'll say 99, because that's when everything really, really took off. Right. Who, musically, right. who was who was holding down for the city? Just Fresh yeah, Prince. And right. what year was that? 91? 80, 89? You see what I'm saying? So, so that listen, long span. 10 years and before then, us. Boom, 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 boom. 10 years before us. Like see, it was nobody. Right. Right. And but, then, we, but we can't leave our Ram Squad too. Ram Squad was making. But they didn't have the too. commercial nah. success. Like nah, was, everybody, was the, the Ram Squad was was definitely fire. Yeah, but they wasn't reaching the match. Nah, it was more low. Yeah, it was more low. So it's like that's that time was like like you say with the time to be alive. Yeah, I don't think nobody personified. I don't think like that time in particular. I don't think we'll get that. When the AI personify hip hop, like this nut ass Philly attitude. Mm -hmm. don't fuck like we. They yeah. capture our attitude. They capture our attitude. I mean, we claim a Bubba Chuck, man. Oh, yeah, he always, he always, oh, you already know. Right, right. We so, 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 so let's stay on track, though. We're going to wrap dun, it up. We're going to wrap dun, it up dun, here, but dun. I just want to say that that show, Matt got a show coming up for his for his album, his debut album. I know that show going to be fire. That album is a classic. Classic. 1000%. So I just wanted to give Matt his flowers now. Because he really put on again. I'm a guy from South Philly, so he really, Fucking really neighbor. put South Philly on the yeah, map. Bro. He, put, on the he map. put Philly on the map. Yeah, but I mean, like, just for me personally, right, right, my right. neighborhood. He definitely, he definitely. Because we know we have people. Uh, Will Smith from West Philly. Mm -hmm. Asian figures, they all from North Philly right. and different other places. We ain't really had that one wow. South Philly person uh, uh, but prior to that. Not, not one solo. Yeah, uh, just, the day we, we had the roots. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, they, we all from yeah. Philly, man. No, you know no, I'm just saying. Yeah, I, yeah, I but we all, yeah, but we all from Philly. And the thing about it is, is that we none of us is bigger than the machine. No. You feel what I'm saying? The machine is Philly. And, and we're going to keep that shit rolling. And I can't wait to March 8th when all of us is there watching this shit unfold. You feel what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of niggas that's going to come in the city. That that come into the city that that was around at the time, and they come in to show love to a nigga that that set the precedence for guys that that was doing this shit from nothing. You know what I'm saying? So me being around Mac when Mac ain't used to wear belts and he used to take a motherfucking rope and tie his motherfucking pants up, big ass state property pants on and shit like that, and we rolling and doing what they gotta do. Man, salute, man, salute, man. So Siege, our content motherfucking coordinator, where the fuck is we going at next, my nigga? Since y'all niggas was talking about eating alive, you know, battling over there. <laughs> oh, I think that's a perfect segue man. to our, our, our last uh, topic. If you don't know, um, you haven't been paying attention to social media or the news, mm -hmm. there is, allegedly, there is some information out there about uh, Diddy having mm -hmm. some... Uh, extracurricular um, relations with a, a Philly rapper. That's what it said in the, the paperwork that was shown. Uh, I don't want to mention it. If, you, if my, my colleagues, my esteemed colleagues here want to mention names and stuff like that, that's up to them. Can I start, though? Can I start? Can I start? Can I start? We'll, we'll DJ Black, I'll go first. We don't believe you need more people, bro. Like, I don't believe this boy. This boy all cat. Oh. I think this board, the, the board is just, that's trying to out everybody. DJ Academics, bitch ass. No, oh, we know that nigga's yeah, suck. Yeah. We ain't talking about, we're talking about the actual producer that's making all these claims Who? about Puff. I don't know his nigga, man. Some weirdo ass yeah. nigga. I never heard of him until this came out. Weirdo ass nigga. But anyway, the guy, from what I, from what I understand, he's a disgruntled employee. employee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he produced some shit for, for Puff. Puff ain't, a bitch, ain't pay him. So he won his money. So he he is by any means necessary he's trying to get his money. So he's making up claims. Puff 
Yeah, but we ain't, way. we ain't mentioning that nigga on this motherfucking podcast. He ain't getting no, he ain't getting oh, no money no. out of us neither. We gotta discuss this. Yeah, we gonna discuss it, but this I don't want to mention that nigga. Yeah, name. I don't know his fucking, name. You know what I mean, fuck know the my whole name. thing is this. I, this is what I want to say. I never heard of this guy. Meek about yeah, to yeah, drop. Man, this shit try. Meek, try Meek about to drop, right? And this is my thing about Philadelphia. Do not let nobody stop another one of our heroes with no bullshit. And that's what he's trying to do. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day, if this nigga wasn't about to drop, nobody wouldn't even be talking about him. Right. They always want to talk about what Philly ain't doing this way, what Philly not doing that way. That's one of our heroes. <laughs> Stick by that nigga and let that nigga album go number one so he can get a fucking Grammy like he deserves. Right, right. I'm tired of niggas doing this shit to us, bro. They've been doing this shit for 20-something years to yeah. us, bro. And I'm tired of this shit, bro. They keep on trying to play niggas. Whatever Diddy dick sucking ass got going on, that's on him. I don't know the nigga. He ain't never gave me no motherfucking money. I don't give a fuck about him at the end of the day. I'm tired of this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm feeding my kids off what I do. And at the end of the day, if a nigga ain't putting no money towards that, fuck him. Right. At the end of the day. I'm tired of this shit, bro. At and the my, end of the day, bro. That's some sucky shit. Like, like, why bring other people in, in your situation? That's my thing. You know what I'm saying? Why do you care? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you care? You know why he care? Because he want to create some clickbait so he can try to get some type of money. That's what it is. That's, 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 that's it's what it is. It's the same thing with Cassie, though, cuz. What? It's the same thing with Cassie. Was a cash, it was a cash grab. And the people that came right after Cassidy, it was a cash grab. What? With Diddy. But that's what I'm saying. He trying to get it's that 24-hour bag. There's some consistency. He trying to get that 24-hour bag. Bro, fuck Diddy, bro. You keep on saying, what, what, fuck Diddy, bro. There's some I mean, no, if the nigga, he ain't But you, you're your wild card, card, but I mean, you're a wild card, but fuck Diddy, bro. Like, 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 like. I mean, we talk so about what you it. So what you saying? So what you saying? I'm saying the cops got allegations. First of all, really my take was going to be, for real, for real. That shit seems so thick to me, but. The industry should seem so fake because if a nigga in the street, Grim is not the street, but if a nigga in the street wastes the money, if you got allegations of being a freak, right. I'm not going nowhere taking no I'm not you party, ain't gonna be party, right. party. I'm not partying with you, period. Yeah, if you yeah, he ain't gonna be around me with your shirt off, none of that. Right. Because shit, niggas up, wouldn't bro. even play with your name like that in the first place. Why are you, why are you even playing why are you even playing with your name like that? That's my thing. Not even chiming in on, on me. I'm saying with Diddy, it's consistent it's consistency that you like like, wait on some I'ma say this personally because I don't stand nothing to lose by it. I believe Diddy on some freak shit. He probably is. But this is I'ma say it. This, this is my so. thing though. Like with R. Kelly. If R. Kelly was doing all that shit with them little girls, mm. R. Kelly wasn't by herself all the time. Exactly. So my whole thing is, if y'all niggas was around Diddy, some of y'all niggas seen well, some I'm weird saying, shit. Yeah. Y'all like don't so make it seem like he's. So y'all seen the interview with Usher? Usher was like, oh, what the fuck did you know? I'm saying a disgruntled employee. He drink too much Ciroc and he get kinked. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> nigga be off that bullshit. <laughs> Whatever liquor he got out. He get kinky. It's, a, it's actually a liquor called kinky. Maybe you can see. You see me on that shit. With the cat on the yeah, bar. like yeah, he on Come some on, other bro. shit, bro. Like he I ain't never nowhere by himself, bro. bro what I'm saying like, is, goofy shit. I respect the game, and and I respect what he's done musically, but all this shit that's coming out. I believe it was bound to come out, and I believe he was a gatekeeper and a lot of shit that was going on. And I deserve all them niggas deserve what the fuck they getting right now at the end of the day. They just day. put a thing out on. I ain't watching. They just put a thing out on uh, Wendy Williams. They just now pulled. That shit was they crazy. They just pulled, show her hand like a motherfucker. They got her looking bad out here. And if that's his case, that's his case. I don't yeah. think this is the thing. That's the problem with social media. Whatever that man want to do behind closed yeah, doors, it's business. let no him doubt. rock out. No doubt. But business. at the end of the day, my personal thing is. I don't give a fuck what he do. That ain't my home. I still take a revolt deal tomorrow. I ain't got to go hang out with that nigga. Would. Definitely. Would. And my thing is, like, it's been, it's been whispers of this shit for, for 100 years, man. They've been talking about this for years. But all I'm saying is this. If you know there's whispers of this shit, don't fuck with it, man. Don't, right. don't go around it. No, nah, you, 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 you got to go around a nigga with your motherfucking mind right. 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 Go, right. If you going to go around a nigga, if you lose, you, know you lose. Bullshit. If you right. not lose, that shit ain't going to affect That's you. Like, if I'm, not the I'm not saying, this, this is what I'm saying to you, bro. Homophobic niggas, most of them be into that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't care about what a nigga do behind closed doors. That's not my business. And most of the time, they know they know who to come at. It's certain niggas, they come yeah, like they so, looking in your eyes like you know what I'm saying? So that nigga let, got a little so bit let me, of. Let me pose a question. Yeah. If you know, all right, 
I don't want to use Diddy. Just say a nigga you know. A nigga right. you fuck with. Right. Y'all can get some money together. But he on some weird putting gerbils in his ass type shit. Right, Jay right. Pinnacoli <laughs> shit. <laughs> you going to be cool. Like, because my whole thing is, I feel like some of these niggas, they will overlook the weird shit because it's money. Yeah, Me, to. I got principles. You right, putting right. gerbils in your ass, bro, I'm cool. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want your money. Right, I'm going right, to go try right. to get it somewhere else. But I be feeling like some of these niggas be knowing niggas be on some weird shit. Going. And they be, be cool going. with it. And but, then when the shit come out, like, oh, no, 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 y'all no, niggas, y'all was cool with that weird but shit. You can do business with, with people who got little, little, little idiotic sequences that, that, that's weird as shit. Mm -hmm. You can still do business with them. You if, just don't involve me in that bullshit. If I know you do that shit, I'm out of line. Like, if I don't know, then different. Just like a nigga you don't like. You can do business with a nigga you hate, you hate his guts. I ain't gonna hold you. That, you know I'm what I'm not getting in no fucking room drinking no liquor around Diddy, bro. I'm getting bro, I'm not being <laughs> around you. You kinky as shit. I'm cool. I don't know I'm this, cool. what this nigga doing with he doing. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fine, sure. I'm, I'm fine. I'm and fine. this is allegedly. I'll pass. You, you think, do you think he didn't fucking rub on the nigga thigh and said, damn, my brother, bro, bro, Yeah, yeah, yeah let's see what you went with it. I'm going to give you two minutes. Don't say nothing. Niggas probably is like, oh, what? Yeah, all right. That's how I start. I'm saying that's how it is. Tell you, that's well, how the niggas are. That's what the boy the said. Day. The boy said. I'd kick a Sean John sweatsuit out of the ass. <laughs> 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 the boy said you nigga squeeze on your thigh. You know, I'm not my hand. He said he's making a beat and plus start rubbing on his leg, gentle. What? How you doing? Gentle. Bro, what? All of this consistency. That's crazy. Hey, Fred. You talking about this? <laughs> because with that, I ain't with that shit. Board, I'm gonna I'm I'm beat your ass. Yeah. Bro, we not going to no party in no fucking matching outfits. We're not doing no, that. No, no, listen, listen. Bro. I'm not spending bro, bro. the night. You're not about to call me daddy and I'm gonna gloss over that. I, like, no, 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 I get, I get what y'all saying, but you gotta remember something, right? When we doing these podcasts and things like that, they got a thing called shorts and they got a thing called editing. Be careful what we talk about because at the end of the day, People turn things around and try to trigger it and stop what we got going on. We will never do that. I don't give a fuck who wearing the same outfits. I don't give a fuck about who doing what. What I'm saying is, if you hang out with Puff, know he gonna drink some liquor and know you gonna get touched on a little so bit. And if you with that, that that's what you with. If you cool, that's cool weird, with coming behind that, where's yeah. the so when, when but, niggas blow the lid off and no shit, money don't but, but, but at the same time, they say Puff type nigga, they be like, bitch, come here. Oh, oh, fuck with my man. I'm gonna keep it. He be putting niggas on. Bro, I, I'm not gonna Ooh, mention his brother's name. Listen, 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 I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna mention his brother's name. But at the end of the day, I got a close friend that was close to that situation, right? I'm not mentioning his name because at the end of the day, he's not into that. And I don't, I'm not into that mentioning nobody motherfucking names. But I'm gonna tell you this. He told me that Puff is one of the most sneakiest niggas around mm. another nigga bitch ever. He known for that. I so, uh, that's how he took to Cassie from um support and the support. Light skinned nigga. Uh Ryan Leslie. Ryan Leslie. Yeah. Yeah. To, to, to Cassie from Ryan Leslie. Yeah. Harvard Ryan Leslie yeah. Leslie bore her to Puff yeah. for a deal. Yeah. And he said like two, three weeks later that nigga talking she, about she, she started fronting on him. She stopped talking to him. She stopped answering his calls. He took his bitch. He got that chicken. You know what I'm saying? He took his bitch. Yeah, that's cool. He's that's known for that. that shit, but that's just too much you shit. You doing some weird shit, you <laughs> know. Like, I don't want to so your money, bro. You just hot, man. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying about the R. Kelly niggas. If you do somebody with a rat, crazy, bro. I'm cool. I'm not doing no business. I sell drugs with a nigga, you know he going rat a tool. I mean, but. It just ain't going to work. That's That's true. If it's consist if it's consistency, of, that's like if niggas everybody keep telling you to join a whore, you don't wife want to find pick, and that's it. You can fuck you with her. You knife her, you don't wife her. Solid. I, I compare. I ain't going to no multiple events I because don't we're not party. I compare it to this. I compare it to this. Party, party. I compare it to this. Party party. I compare it to this. Tell them, bro, man, we never party party. Yeah, I ain't partying party. party. I ain't doing it. But. <laughs> But compare it. I compare yeah, it to this. Look, that's the word. I compare it to this. Like when a mom. Like when a mom look past her son selling drugs, you know he's selling drugs. Right, right, right. He paying all your right, bills. Right, right, right. That's you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's the same that's shit. Yeah, but that, to me, niggas like do strange world. shit for some money, bro. That's what I'm saying. No, that's no, just it's strange too shit much. for some it's money, too much, bro. It's Listen, too much. I seen a video some boy put on YouTube, and I ain't want 
when we get off camera, I'm talking about it. But I seen a video where it was a, a rapper who right. signed to another rapper. And when he signed on the dotted line, the rapper that he was signing to looked in the camera and was like, Got like, one. Like, mm -hmm. nigga, you don't even know what you just did. Take you fried right. right. <laughs> I'm like, bro, hey, that shit was too real. Hey, he see. looked right at the camera and was like, that's what I'm hey, saying. Hey, see. see? Speaking of that, though, with, our, with you know, you being our content coordinator, right. tell these niggas what to do when they subscribe, like, and uh, do what to the channel. Listen, man, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all comment. Definitely leave me comments. What y'all think about God, fucking man. kinky man in this kinky <laughs> universe? Especially, Especially for this one. one. You know what I'm most mad about, though? We getting cheated, man. Well, what? It's like the R. Kelly. We had never get an R. Kelly versus. Now we ain't gonna never get that. that oh, no. That that's off. And Jermaine Dupri that's versus, over. man. That, that, that shit that crazy. What a socks he had on one of the Super Bowl. Oh, oh, socks. Yeah, that is socks. Yeah. Salute to my man Pharrell, but I don't like that. I'm just, I'm just hurt, man, because it's fucking up. All our, all our superheroes that we had right. in the 90s, it's right. they all Shug crumbling, right? Up. They all crumbling. Uh, uh, Shug is fucked up. Uh, what's my man? Uh, Irv Gotti, he looking crazy. Like, all of the... Yeah. Out of the, the 2010s and... Who you think would be making the, ver the verses? I don't think it's... When, when I think back on that, I'm like... I don't know too many people that can be making the verses. Okay. From his class okay. going forward. Oh, not going backwards. Bro, no, this is what we do. Leave probably, it in the comments. Probably cool. Other than that. No, leave it in the comments. Yeah, probably cool. Let's probably. not even go there yet. Leave it in the comments. Yeah, I'm, I'm just want y'all to ponder that. I, mean, I want right, to think. Right. I want to shit when you put a time cap on it. Yeah, like not leave nobody it before. In the fucking comments, y'all. Probably cool. Because I'm going I'm, I'm to leave on this one, though. Cool. Right now, I think cool. It's shit, man. This is why mm -hmm. I'm mean, past drink. He's past drink. He's past drink. I love y'all. Like and subscribe. Yeah, Make sure y'all leave it in the comments. I'm not having an argument, another J. Drink. Cole argument about this nigga ever, ever, he ever. Drink, ever I'm just saying he passed drink. Not to me. To me, yes. Guess what? Drink not for Guess what? He cooked drink on that first person shooter. Cooked the shit out of him. That was a layup. What Obama say when he was done? Dutch out. <laughs> we appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, we thank y'all for tuning in. Like, tuning in. Drop it love y'all. Appreciate the love. Keep commenting. I never left. We just go keep this shit rolling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love my niggas, man. We love, love y'all. Man, salute, man. This motherfucker. It was all a dream podcast. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, leave it in the comments. And this episode of It Was All a Dream Podcast was brought to you by It Was All a Dream Motherfucking Podcast. Hey. You already know. Peace.